Welcome back, Blog Tribe. Part three of the Podia tutorial series on customizing and designing and building a sales page or the landing pages for your free products. This is ugly. This is what I created in the last tutorial. And so we're gonna walk through designing and customizing that in this video. I am going to get there, by the way, by going to products, finding the product I want to edit and go to edit sales page. Now, as important to note, you can also customize your overall storefront, which for me, by the way, is at courses.doyouevenblog.com. You can also customize this main storefront in the same editor. You can do that via this little navigation box right here. You can see I can click storefront to edit that. You can also choose your other products to edit that sort of stuff. You can do that right here. First up is appearance. This is the way things look in general, not the different sections of the page, but like the colors and the fonts and all that great stuff. You can see right here, I have heading fonts and body fonts. I've already chosen these. You can click the drop down to make these kind of whatever you want. Let's uh, choose another one, Laura Bold. It's gonna ch uh, change my heading fonts right here. And then body, let's go with like work sans regular. Cool, I'm gonna hit save. It should automatically update the page. There you go. Here's Laura and it changed my other fonts. Cool. Now colors, this is the global colors. Meaning when you when I change this right here, it will also affect the storefront. It will change all that stuff. This is global, not just for this sales page, I believe. It even says that right here. Choose default global colors, default global colors. You can always come into each one of these sections and change them on an individual basis. Of course you can, but this is where you update your overall like brand colors. You can see I have a white background with my Do You Even Blog purple, and then I have my heading colors, a button color. You can actually make that difference. Button text, you could make that different right there and so on and so forth. So that's like the, the overall global brand colors. You change that stuff around and play with it. Header is also the same thing, by the way. This updates your header across your entire Podia site. And it even, I think it says that. Yeah, here we go. You're editing a global section. Changes here are published automatically and it changes on your storefront as well. So logo. At this recording, at the time of this recording, this is funky. It takes up the entire like thing right here, which is, I'm like, why is my logo so big? I tried making a smaller version of this logo. It just stretched it out and then it looked pixelated. The only way I could really fix this for now is to A, just not use a logo and it just has, do you even blog up there, which is fine. But I added like some white space. You can see this right here around my logo. And I found that that actually worked really well. So here is that image. I'm gonna like drag it in here. There we go, drag that in there. It's gonna update and it'll look okay because it has like a little bit of white space around there. That's the only way I figured out how to do that. If you have a square logo, probably doesn't matter. <laughs> it might look okay. But you might just have to play around with that. This is where you can customize your menu. I have links back to my homepage, not my Podia website, but my actual website, doyouevenblog.com. Again, you can click on these to edit the text, do, DYEB home and the actual URL. I don't think I had anything there. That's weird. There we go. <laughs> now I edit it. Blog, it should go to do even blog.com slash blog podcast. You can add whatever links you want to up here. Favicon is this right up here. The little Podia icon is by default. I can actually bring in some of my logos. And now when I refresh the page and look at my site, the favicon will change to do you have a blog. And then a social share image for if people share your Podia website, <laughs> you can change that right there. Okay, let's get to the actual sales page content. This is what happened by default, a product banner, which is this area right here and table of contents. You can add sections by clicking add section, obviously, and there's a bunch of different stuff to choose from. Note that the ones that are global will update across your entire site. If you're using these other like widgets, so to speak, across your entire site, it will update those. So I just clicked bio. You can see it actually pulled in all my information because I had edited this elsewhere on my Podia website. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You can change the appearance, the layout. Let's go with like minimal. That looks pretty cool. Alignment left, you can change that. Appearance, dark or light or none, or I like the light. Let's put that little background right there. You can change your avatar image, the headline, the description, your different social links. You could change the background of this area if you wanted to. I already have all this filled in, 
because I previously did this. This is a global bio widget. So I just changed my global bio widget across my entire website. Same thing for the newsletter thing, which I haven't actually used before. That's pretty cool. You can change the text, heading, button sign up, appearance, use CAPTCHA, yes, no, I wanna turn that off. Active campaign, you can choose your list. You can also get a code to embed this on your website if you want, et cetera, et cetera. It's also worth noting that you need to click in these in order to remove them. Like if I wanted to remove that newsletter, I would have to click in here, and then there's a little trash can icon right there. Remove section. It's gonna confirm that, and it's gone. Now let's update the product banner at the top. Product banner, I'm gonna click that. Text, this is a super awesome course which you should buy. And you can also add an image or video, which will show up right over here. I'm just gonna add in a little image, but I could do like a promo video or something like that. You could also add in a background image for that entire section. And you can also make it align differently. Like you could put this in the center or on the left. Let's put the image on the left or the promo video on the left. I like it like this. Let's leave it like that. Dark, light, whatever. You could also change this to be custom using whatever colors you want to right here. Background, could make it like a fancy, you can make it whatever you want. You enter in your brand colors right there, that's like super ugly. So I'm just gonna go back to dark. But you can customize every single little bit of that. All of those colors right there, you can customize. Let's go with none, or default, there you go. So that is the product banner. Right underneath that is the table of contents, which shows the outline of your course. You can change this word, contents, what's included, obviously that. You can show these or not show these with this. And you can also just kind of edit these like this. I'm gonna go with like light. That made it look a little bit better. The rest of these sections should be pretty straightforward. Just text, it brings up a full text editor, image with text, FAQs, different columns, if you wanna add in that sort of stuff. Testimonials would be a great one to play around with. I'm not sure why you would add a button to a testimonial, but there you go. You can see you can add a whole lot of them, as many as you want right here. Maybe you can make this go to another page or anything like that. Okay, I added a little bit of copywriting in a text thing right here. And in order to move this, it should be noted that you can just click on these little arrows right here and drag it all the way up. So I want that right underneath my product banner. To, I can move that testimonial widget up probably over the bio. It's looking good, right? I got my logo appropriately sized, the menu is set, and some stuff have carried over to the storefront, like the settings. You can also add sections exactly like you would with the sales page right to your storefront here. You can edit that, change the way these products are laid out and more. In the next video, we are going to go through digital downloads, how to create these and sell these, as well as memberships, product bundles, and more. So we'll see you in the next video.